hacer guardar la constitución política de los Estados Unidos mexicanos y las leyes que de ella emanen y desempeñar leal y patrióticamente el cargo de presidente de la República que el pueblo me ha conferido, mirando en todo por el bien y la prosperidad de la Unión. Y si así no lo hiciere, que la nación me lo demande. National, and uh, I'm with a bunch of Lopez Obrador supporters who are protesting. And I've got to get out of the way here. Behind me is the military. It's a lot of it's a lot of army guys. The a lot of army guys here. It's maximum security, security de maximo. And uh, we're here. Uh, the incoming president, President Calderon, is in there speaking. And here's. We're going to let these guys go in. It's a little uh, nerve-wracking, but uh, there's a few supporters here. The main uh, protest protesting is down uh, down in uh, Avenue de la Reforma. And right now, uh, we're outside here trying to see what's going on. Actually, it was a fraud. Uh, it was a very... After the, the election begins, the, all the, the enterprises who are uh, linked with Felipe Calderón start a, a, a campaign against López Obrador and start to say López Obrador is a danger for Mexico. It's, uh, if López Obrador uh, won the elections, me Mexico will collapse and everything. And that was a lie. How was there fraud in the election? How did that work? Oh, well, the, the election fraud worked like this. I mean. Uh, the company that sells the software that was going to be used for the elections, uh, that company is owned by Felipe Calderón's uh, brother-in-law, who is uh, Ildebrando Zavala. He is the brother of Calderón's wife. So he gave the software to the IFE, which was the institution of people who can vote here. And then the one that is in charge of the IFE, uh, it's uh, Calderón's best man. So, in any way, they are related to Calderón. All the people who were supposed to check that the elections and everywhere everything were uh, clean were related to, Candel to Calderón in some way. So, the elections weren't clean. They made a lot of fraud uh, with the computer system. And uh, when 
Andres Manuel asked for a new recount. They just said, no, we can't because it's too expensive. I mean, it's not expensive for them because anyway, we people pay for that. Okay, and the second part of the fraud was a, an electronic fraud when the when Lopez Obrador was on the top of the elections, uh, yeah, when the only people uh, has vote, they uh, take all the system down uh, in the morning, in the early, uh, early morning. So uh, when they uh, restart the system in the morning, uh, the day after, they, uh, Felipe Calderón was on the first place in, fr in front of Obrador. They make that electronic fraud, so ma they make the people can disappoint about uh, Lopez Obrador. If we uh, think Lopez Obrador has lost, but we didn't, he has lost. We know he won the elections. And now we are trying to, to speak out loud, saying Lopez Obrador won the elections, and they are not letting us. They are putting all the army against us. democracia en México es una mierda, nos cagamos en su democracia porque no existe la democracia en México. The 2006 presidential election in Mexico was very controversial. It was be between López Obrador, who was a very popular mayor of Mexico City, and Felipe Calderón, who had worked for Vicente Fox. He was President Fox's energy secretary. And Felipe Calderón was Harvard educated and he came through the Pan Party. His father was part of the Pan Party and he was part of the Panista Party when he was a youth. And the election was very close. The, in Mexico they have IFI, the Institute of Federal Elections. It's the independent federal organization that supervises the elections. And IFI was uh, founded because of all the allegations of fraud in the past especially the 1988 election where Carlos Salinas was elected. It was a very controversial election. Perhaps the PRI stole it. Keep in mind that there were 71 years of PRI, of one party's government, before Vicente Fox was elected in 2000. And on July 2nd, election night, the Institute of Federal Elections asked that neither party declare a victory. They said the election was too close to call. So the next day, they calculated the votes and declared Philippe Calderon the winner by 233,000 votes on 31 million, 0.6 percentage point margin. But Lopez Obrador did not go down peacefully. He organized a sub-government. He declared himself President Legitimo. And he organized a government within a government. So essentially Mexico was functioning with two presidents. Very controversial. And Lopez Obrador would put together marches where two million people, maybe more, would protest on the reforma. They blocked businesses, they blocked traffic, cost downtown merchants millions. 